It's me, Nardi. Hello, Hoovians. Crispy here, and just welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for sticking around. Um, you know what didn't stick around? My hair. That's gone because I am Nardo now. It's me, Nardi. No, I'm kidding. I just, I just look like Nardo now because um, it was some dumb college thing. It was basically a dare almost. Um, so yeah, that you have to get used to this. I'll probably wear caps because I'm not used to it myself. But since I am bald, I thought, heck, what better time to talk about one of the most um, controversial characters in Doctor Who, Mr. Nardole. And joining me today, I have Mr. Tom Dix from Epic Who and Matthew from The Who Addicts. Oh boy, oh boy, it's a good one. Take it away, fellas. Hey there, guys. Matthew here from The Who Addicts. Now, let's talk about one of the most intriguing and, in the end, one of the most beloved characters that we've had from Doctor Who in the last couple of years, and that is, of course, Nardole, a character who I can thankfully say has went from zero to hero in just the space of a season. Now, of course, when Nardole first debuted in the Husbands of River Song, he was a one-off, one of them Christmas characters that you would expect to see. Someone who is very funny, very light-hearted, and can deliver some hilarious jokes. And back in the Husbands of River Song, I thought that Nardle was the funniest part about it, and one of the only few things that actually made me laugh. And yeah, he was a fantastic addition to that Christmas special, and we thought we would never ever see him again, but of course he then came back the following year, and a few people were a little bit sceptical as to why he was still travelling with the Doctor, but hey, it's a Christmas special, and he was good in the last one, so why can't he be good in this one? Hi, I'm Tom, and yeah, I'm a bit of a fan of Nardo. Just take a look at these photos that were edited when I accidentally had my hair shaved. Matt. Lucas plays Nardol. Everybody loves Nardol. I wish I could be Nardol. Now, okay, I may not have been a fan of Nardol right from the start. I mean, in Husband's River Song, he was okay. He filled his purpose. He was a comedic element. He, he, was, just, he was just there and he was entertaining. He, he filled what he was meant to do. But then when he was announced to return in the next Christmas special and in Series 10, I was probably... I, I wasn't exactly happy. I was, I was a bit annoyed. thought the show was becoming a joke. But then... Obviously, we found out that he would become a full-time companion for Doctor Who Series 10, and a lot of people, including myself, I'm the first to admit, along with myself and all the other Who addicts and many other fans out there, we were very, very sceptical of Nardole's addition into Series 10, because, for me anyway, personally, he'd not proven himself, and I'd not been given a reason to accept him as a member of the TARDIS team, because I just feel like being a full-time companion to the Doctor is a place you can't just be handed. It's something you've got to earn, and it's a rightful place you've got to deserve. And I felt as if we'd not seen enough of Nardole to just accept him on to the TARDIS like he was. He was flung into the TARDIS team throughout Series 10, and we'd not been given a reason as to why, why the Doctor had taken him aboard. It just didn't seem right. And on posters, on promo pictures, seeing the 12th Doctor, Bill and Nardole together, I could see the Doctor and Bill, I could see the chemistry there, I thought they were going to be fantastic, and Nardole just seemed like the bit on the side. Like, why are they bringing back Nardole, this comedic character, why is he going to be a full-time companion? I was not up for it, I just didn't see the point. However, the closer we got to Series 10, and then eventually when we saw Series 10, I just fell completely in love with Nardole. Matt Lucas was perfect, Stephen Moffat wrote Nardole brilliantly, I, I adored watching him, I, it, it literally, that TARDIS trio was like, Bill was the new child, she'd literally just come into the world. The Doctor was like the older brother showing her what to do. And then Matt Lucas's Nardo was like the mother hen telling them off and just saying, you need to do this, you can't do that. I, I, I love the dynamic, I thought it was it was fresh. We hadn't really seen it before in New Who. Um, and obviously with a, a new companion coming in with Bill, I wanted all the limelight to be on her. And of course all the hype was going to be that is it the 12th Doctor's final series. It's Bill's first series, but of course Nardole's just there. Uh, and there was always the danger that he was going to get pushed into the background, he was going to be a filler, forgettable companion that was just going to lay no legacy on Doctor Who, but he did the absolute opposite. Now in the pilot, I still was not over Nardole's character at all. He did what I, exactly what I expected. He just threw unfunny one-liners at the end of sentences that I thought felt forced and didn't really need to be there. But as the series grew, we got to see different sides to Nardole's character, and that's what I wanted the most. He seemed too two-dimensional throughout the Christmas specials. He didn't seem like he had any other sides to his character. And of course, Matt Lucas, he's an incredible comedic actor. I loved him in Little Britain, I loved him in Come Fly With Me, but we'd never seen him do anything dramatic. So we were all sceptical on whether he could pull it off, 
and whether the writers were going to write him in at all. There was so much going on, how would he fit? But as the episodes went on, we got to see different sides to Nardo, a more authoritative side where he was ordering the Doctor about. And at first, I was saying, he doesn't have the right to say that to the Doctor. But as he started to become a better part of the Doctor Companion TARDIS team sort of dynamic, as he started to show more sides of his character, you just suddenly started to accept him. Nardo went from being this pointless comedic character that we'd see in a Christmas special to becoming one of these, one of the most heroic characters, I suppose, in some ways. I mean, he was a badass. He was definitely a badass. Um, but no, I never expected to be so sad at his exit. His exit from the show was so bittersweet because it was like, I, I want to know more of you. And to this day, I still can't put my finger on a moment or a scene or an episode when it all clicked. But instead of being that character that stood out like a sore thumb at the beginning, he just become a part of the a part of the foundation of that series. And in the end, when he left at the, at the, in the finale of Doctor Series 10, it was one of the most, if not the most, heartbreaking of all the departures because we'd seen him grow such an amazing friendship with the 12th Doctor. You know what they say, opposites attract, and them two definitely did. But he kind of left as a hero. He was going to save people, going to help people. And it was a very bittersweet ending, but I think it was a very worthy exit for, for Nardo. Having said all that though, I do think that there was a bit more we could have explored with Nardo. I think it would have been a bit cool if we could have explored his darker side a little bit, um, because there's, there's some moments when he is just used for the comedic element, which is fine, um, but I do think that Nardo was kind of put to the side a bit too much in some cases. I think it would have been nice to explore him and, and why he is back. I think it would have been nice to see the reason, and have a bit of more of a reason as to why Nardo's back. I love the dynamic between him and Bill, how at first he didn't even want to look up to Bill, he didn't even want to accept that she was there, but in the end he'd become great friends with her too, and of course at the end he had the perfect send-off by going off and, and defending a, a small farm, a, a small orphanage of children from the Cybermen, and I thought that was perfect for his character. Um, but out of everyone who deserves credit, Matt Lucas deserves a lot of credit for the the amazing acting that he showed throughout Series 10. Acting none of us knew existed. He's proven to everybody that he can do the dramatic side as well as the comedic side. But of course the writers deserve so much credit too. From taking a character who at first seemed meaningless, pointless, and if anything he was going to have a negative impact on Series 10 to becoming one that ends up being beloved, remembered fondly, and being one of the nicest, kind-hearted... Um, and most memorable companions we've had over the last couple of years. So for me, Nardole, I think, is one of the best surprise packages we've had in Doctor Who, and I think Doctor Who is a better place for Nardole being there. But overall, seriously, I loved Nardole. He he was an unexpected hero of Series 10, and I think he's one of the reasons that I love Series 10 so much. But So thank you, Matt Lucas, because seriously, not that was amazing. Cheers, fellas. I really appreciate your input. Um, yeah, no, they're both amazing YouTubers. If you have not already, please subscribe to them. They are great. But yeah, just just for me personally, when the announcement came out that, you know, Nardo was going to be a recurring character in Series 10, my initial reaction was like this. What? What? Whoa. Such a, such a strange creative decision, I think. But then over time, like throughout Series 10, I got to know and pretty much love the character. Like I really appreciated Matt Lucas and his performance um, because, you know, he wasn't given a lot to work with and he made it work. And now I genuinely wish that he could come back. Like I know he won't because Chris Chibnall is, you know, he'll do, he's going from square one. He's, he's you know, starting afresh. In an interview uh, Matt Lucas did for my channel, because, you know, Matt Lucas and I are low-key besties, um, he was really surprised at the fact that he would even come back on the show after the Christmas special. In fact, I'll, I'll let you into a secret. I said yes to being in Doctor Who before even reading the script because I thought, well, it's Doctor Who, isn't it? Got to say yes to that. And then I read the script and I was like, oh, he doesn't have much to do. And we were at the read-through and Hydroflax was was more fun. And I was like, oh, why didn't I read the script and then say, can I do Hydroflax, please? But I didn't. Um, but I had a lovely time on it. And then I kept saying to Stephen Moffat, can I come back, please? And now you're stuck with me. And that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, please leave in the comments below what you thought of Matt Lucas's character, Nardole, like, as a whole. Were you happy with how it went? We, do you wish there were things that could be improved upon? Please let me know in the comments below. I would find it interesting. Please like this video. Please subscribe if you have not already. And you can hit me up on my socials, on my Twitter and my Instagram. Both of those will be in the description below. And I hope you all have a fantastic day. Allons-y! Hello. 
I'm the doctor. You should subscribe to Crispy right now. Do it quickly while the button's there, fresh in your mind. Trust me, I wouldn't endorse him otherwise.